everyone. Joy, Joy to give. give. Welcome them. Hi, everybody. Do you know Taiwan is also called Formosa, a beautiful island? But what is the beauty of Taiwan? Rich crops? Yes. Rare animals? Yeah. But you know, the most beautiful part is Taiwanese passion. Always joyful to give. Let's find out. Oh, my Ichi, please tell my mom. She has been in a coma since we saw her crazy boss in the earthquake. Here are Chop Honey and the best give up bananas for you. As long as you can cure her, I won't bring more. Don't panic, little boy. Let me take a look. Alas, though I'm a wizard, I can't cure your mother. Just put under a spell by the god of her earthquake. Only the herb hope can heal her illness. Hope? Yeah. Hope. So, Chief, tell me where I can find it. Take a gift to the village on the other side of the mountain. Ask the Chinese herb bloom there, and perhaps you'll find it. Thank you. I will see them right away. Wait. I have controlled your mom's situation through some magic. But remember, be sure to come back before midnight. Otherwise, your mother will die. Sure, I'll make it. The boy started off up to the top of the mountain. Then he spotted a Formosa black bear trapped in a cave. Without hesitation, he went to his rescue. Oh, poor bear. You're bleeding. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I just scraped my palms and knees. But I feel so exhausted, and besides, I'm starving. Hey, don't worry. I happen to bring a job, honey. Take it. Oh, oh, you are so kind. How can I thank you? No big deal. I'm glad you get your energy back. See you. Wait. What? Here are some jasmine for you in return. Mmm, they smell so sweet. Many thanks. Bye. Bye. Then the boy hit the road again and walked down the path towards a river. Help! Help! I'm drowning! Whoa, what's the matter? The frog is drowning! Right! I am Taipei Green Tree Frog, but due to the landslide, the riverbank has become too steep, and a strong current made me drift here and there. What a disaster! Uh, okay, uh, I got it! Let me lay down my bamboo stick as a bridge, so you can walk on it to the riverbank! Appreciate the lot. You are so compassionate. Let me pick some orchids for you to thank you. Wow, these orchids are beautiful. Oops, the stake is being washed away. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Never mind. The point is you're set in song. Ah. Hi, little boy. Since you have lost your bamboo stick, could you spare me for more some rock monkeys and bananas? They look so delicious. Sure, enjoy yourself. Wow, you are so generous. It's nothing, a piece of cake. Take this yam, I think you'll like it. Oh yeah, I like yams, thank you. It's getting dark, I should go now, bye. Bye. And finally, the boy arrived at the village on the other side of the mountain. I'm so disappointed. I couldn't find her hope. What should I do? Anyway. I had better go back before midnight. The boy rushed back to the chief's house just before midnight. Chief, I'm back. But I have to tell you, I couldn't find her. Oh. Why? Tell me. Why you have encountered on the way? The boy then told the chief what he had experienced in detail. As he finished, his mother suddenly came to life with tears in her eyes. Oh, mama, you are awake. Oh, my dear son. I'm so touched by what you have done. I'll say, actually, the herb hope is not really a kind of plant, but tears of joy. Tears of joy? Yes, tears of joy. It's your mom's tears, and the jasmine's orchids and yams you brought. Jasmine's orchids, yams, J O Y, joy. I see. Tears of joy means tears hope. Yes. Your kindness, compassion, and generosity in helping those animals has broken the spell. Yeah, just as Mother Teresa said, we can do more great things. Only small things with great love. And our selfish love brings hope to us. As time went by, the boy named Joy, basking in the beauty of nature, has become a young man, cultivating abundant crops and horticultural plants. 
Hey, Agnes, you received your call. How's everything? Couldn't be better. A bridge and a handicrafts are catching on, so our business is taking off. That's great. Now, thus, as the urban heat island effect gets worse, it suffers walk on the highest floor of skyscraper. Poor girl, industrialization has a terrible effect on the environment, and global warming is indeed a tough issue to tackle. Yeah, I'll say. Oh, it occurs to me that you can improve your working conditions by greening the roof of your building. Greening the roof? Sounds like a good idea. Green roofs have helped metropolis such as Chicago and Vancouver to cool the temperature and save energy. As well, they provide people with a wonderful place to come in contact with nature and relieve their stresses. No wonder the parks are often referred to as the lungs of the city. Sure enough. Well, first, let me as a committee of our building. Will Lele agree with the proposal or not? Okay, no problem. Hey, tell me what. If they agree, I'll help you with the room since I've got quite a few plants in my field and I'm available during this season. Wow, many thanks. I will drop you a line once accepted. Sure, see you. you. The committee with Joyce offer in no time. Go ahead and load up his truck and wait on his journey. I don't think I can drive to the city in one go. I'd better turn by at the convenience store. A stove of odd bomb came up. Sir, could you spare me a few bucks? I lost my job. Oh, my heart goes to you. But I can only give you some food. Take it. Thanks. Wait, put them away. These disposable chopsticks are harmful to our environment. All right, I shall stop using them. Use this. I usually bring an extra pair of reusable chopsticks in case someone needs it. Thank you. Hey, I got it. How do you feel to go to the city with me for I need a helper to win the roof? I can pay you a few bucks, plus buy you food and drink. Really? Not bad, huh? Yeah, I was trying to go with you. Hours later, they arrive in the city. Then just suddenly stop his vehicle. Let's take a deep breath for free. All you need is have your steps what up. Just let the bomb to blood the nation fan. Poor or rich, everyone can be giving by donating blood. As the saying goes, charity begins at home. Why not our biological home, our party? It's true, by the friend of leaders. To drop the bomb right into the van. After half an hour, they came out with cookies and milk in their hands. It is not so dreadful, right? Man, don't be sick. I made me a bomb, but I'm not scum. Ah, I see. There are still for marrow donation and organ donation. You must be eating for them. Let's get it done at once. Well, let me take a rain check. <laughs> okay. As Joy in the bomb headed for the truck, the stranger sneaked around. This plan is invaluable. How can I open the door? Hi! Hi, is this your car? Yes. Cool. You've got some precious plants like cypress and juniper in your truck. They are hard to come by. You know, I'm a fan of the precious plants in Taiwan. Wow, glad to meet someone appreciating precious plants. Yeah, nice to meet you. Are you working here? Yes, but I'm just off duty, so bye. Wait, if available, come with us to arrange these plants under the roof. On the roof? Yeah, we're green the roof. Come on, Jess. Okay, why not? The three men finished gardening the roof just before the sunset. Oh, without your help, I could not complete it so early. Now I can keep my promise to my mom and go back home tonight. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. At this time, eight appeared. Hi, Joy. Hi, Yancy. Wow, it's fabulous. What great stuff you've got. You seem burned out. How about having some drinks in my office? Thanks, but let me put these tools back to my truck first. Hey. Since you won't out, go have a bite. What do you think? I take these tools to a truck. Waiting for you there, and you drive me to a train station later. It's a deal, many thanks. It's nothing. Catch you later. You too. How about you? I'm so sick. Okay, come. When Ed joined the bomb, went to the garage. The truck had been gone. You should be on your guard. Maybe he's in a hurry or desperately in need of the truck. Let us forgive him. How can you be so giving and forgiving? Don't you remember? My name is Joy. Joy to give is my nature. And you will add, you should come to my end. You silly, stop the crowd. I know very well the beauty of life. <laughs> okay, 